After you worked on your database, it's a good idea to use the compact and repair feature to help maintain your database. For example, when you delete tables, it'll leave empty disk space that fragments and slows database processing time. So, let me go ahead and right click on the database file here and go to properties. And what's the size? 564. Ooh, that's huge. Let's go ahead and close out. Open up the database, double click. And let's delete a few tables here. So let's do orders, yes and order details. Oh, we're just totally destroying all this, getting rid of our tables and closing out. And then let's right click and go to properties here. Okay, it says 608 kilobytes, but let me click cancel, open it back up. When I come up here, click on the file tab, info selected by default, and I come down here to click on compact and repair database. It goes from 608 kilobytes, click on it, well, in a wink of an eye, it automatically closes the database, crunches the extra space or the fragments, and rebuilds it. So, let's see when we close out. Oh, there it is. Let me click and drag it over here. And right-click on it to go to the properties. Is it 608? No. You see how huge of a savings you got from compacting and repair? I mean, well, okay, it was tiny. But you can imagine if you had a lot of data and it got pretty big, well, the processing time is not going to be fun especially if you have a lot of users accessing the database at the same time with a lot of data. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.